أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأكتة من لساني يفقه قولي my very dear and respectable quran course fellows assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi i welcome you all to the understand al quran the easy way course level 2 and i congratulate you that alhamdulillah uh according to the hadith of the prophet peace be upon him khairukum man ta'allama al-qur'ana wa 'allamahu we are on our journey to learn quran and i am sure inshallah one day you will be teaching these classes as well and i request all of you to please start preparing yourself right now you have already done qc1 you know it is expected that even after qc1 with some preparation you should you could teach qc1 at least so we have created a group of assistant quran teachers for english courses and we will invite you immediately after the this completion of the course when your results are announced to join our assistant quran teachers group so once you become part of that group you can conduct the revision sessions of the english courses in qc1 and then inshallah that will be enough practice for you to run these courses independently at your own at the places where you are in the countries or for your families and the groups of people around you so today inshallah we'll start our page first and the last pointer uh d we have completed the three pointers already praise for allah dua for guidance guidance for muttaqin and today we'll talk about attributes of muttaqin yesterday we only had a mention of muttaqin that quran is hidayah for muttaqin but today inshallah we'll talk more about it so let's do our actions on the finger the first four pointers complete today and i think by today you all would have learnt it well praise for allah to offer guidance guidance for muttaqin and attributes of muttaqin okay your practice time so who would like to be the first one to start with the mashallah brother sulay Wa alaikum assalam. Praise for Allah. Dua for guidance. Guidance for muttaqin. Attributes of them of the muttaqin. Short form <clears throat> praise, dua, guidance, attributes. Great brother. Brother Hakim. Brother Hakim, we can't hear you. It seems to be some issue. Well, Salam Alaikum. Praise for Allah. Dua for guidance. Guidance for Muttaqin. Attributes of Muttaqin. Excellent. Sister Hadiza. Salam Alaikum. Praise for Allah. Dua for guidance. Guidance for Muttaqin. Attributes of Muttaqin. Praise, dua, guidance, attributes. Hasana, Sani, Dharma. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Praise for Allah. Dua for guidance. Guidance for muttaqin. Attributes of muttaqin. Praise, dua, guidance, attributes. Very good. 
So having done the short forms, praise to our guidance attributes, we now move to the introduction of our pointer for today. And as I said earlier, it is about the Muttaqeen and their attributes, which we are going to study today. In the last class, we have already studied the that the Quran is Hidaya for Muttaqeen. And Muttaqeen are the one who fear Allah, who are God conscious. So these ayahs are very special. We are going to take very special messages and lessons from here. And they include belief in the unseen. The very first line would have the word bilqaib and next establish prayer. And it will, will be about salah. And the next spend in the path of Allah. So giving charity, spending your, uh, your money, wealth in the way of Allah. Number four, believe in the books. And number five, believe in the hereafter. And then uh, it is added, you know, this true success lies in what all, uh, you know, in doing all these things. So those are the actually successful people who follow Allah's commandments. With these lessons, Alhamdulillah, Allah has made it very easy. But before we move forward, we would listen to the recitation of these ayahs. And when you are listening to them, just figure out what are the words you already know. The words which you know their construction or grammar or how are they made up of or maybe the gender or type of ism, fail, harf, or translation, whatever, then inshallah, we'll have a discussion and then we move forward. Let's listen to the recitation first. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون منون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المهدون Alhamdulillah. So now while the recitation was, was being done, I am sure you have looked at the words and you are able to see many of them. You, you are able to understand many of them. So let's begin with that motivation that we already know much about these verses. Allazina, how would you translate? Those, those who, those who, those who, <laughs> yukminuna. What, what, uh, grammatically, what is it? Yukminuna. Plural. They believe. Plural. They want to believe. You see, mm. we have not studied this fail, but from its construction. We can work out that this is plural. This is fail. Is it is it mazi or mudare or amr or what? Mudare. Yeah, very good. And this is for the third person. Yuminun, yuminuna. So since we have the understanding of iman, so we can work it out. Okay, yuminuna. They all believe. All right. The new word today for us is Bil Ghaib. We will study that. Wayuki Muna. So, which fail is it now? 
I said Mubari. Please Mubari. Yeah, Mubari. Yeah, Mudari. Okay. Mubari. Now Mubari. tell me whether it is single, singular, or a plural. 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 Third person. So mm -hmm. it is about Salah. So we know whenever you key moon as Salah. And what is Salah, by the way? As Salah. Al is Prayer. 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 What is the word salah? Is it masculine or feminine? Feminine. 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 Excellent. And how do we make it plural? Salawat. Very good. Salawat. Salah. They establish salah. They establish prayer. Salah. Salawat. Yeah. Wa mimma razakna hum yunfikun. And how would you break down wa mimma? Mimma. Wa mimma. Excellent. So these has three parts. Wa, min, and ma. Ma. Min and ma. So wa is and, min from, ma, whatever. So we will see the combined meaning of it. Now, how would you break the next word? Razak na hum. How many parts? Three. Razak na hum. Two parts. Two. Three. Some, some are saying three, some are saying two. So look at it carefully, then let me know. Two. 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 Razak na hum. Okay. Hum. Those, those who are saying two, please let me know how two parts. Okay. okay, brother. Now, perfect. Now, listen carefully. You know, this comes from the fail Razaka. Razaka. Okay. So, we, we know... Razaka, Razaku, Razakta, Razaktu, Razaktum, Razakna. So this is Razakna. It's fail. So we don't break down the afal. Razakna. We give sustenance. We give livelihood. Razakna. Hum. What does it mean? Them. Okay. So we give livelihood or sustenance to them. Okay. Yeah. So, yani, whatever we give them. Yun fikun. Yun fikun in its construction again. Which fail is it? Fail Mudare. Plural. Third person. Yun fikun. So, they spend. Wallazina yu'minuna bima unzila ilayka. Unzila is a new word which is from nazil, something which is sent, and ilaika. Please make you. the sign for ilaika. You have learned the. You. Where to where find to ilaika? You. Ilaika to you. Ila. 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 Ilaika. Ila. You did the table. Ilaihi ilaihim. Ilaika ilaya. Ilaikum ilaina. And remember, it is different from. Allah, this is e ilaika to you. Mama and whatever unzila was sent min kablika. How would you break down the word kablika? Two. Very good. Two words. Kablika and ka. Ka is the same. Ka, you. So what does kabl mean? Before. 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 Earlier. So before you, okay. Wabil akhirati. How many parts? Three. 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 Wabil Wabil and Hal Akhira. Three. Okay. Hum de you kinun. Again, we understand the construction. It is from Yakin. It is to have. Yeah. Ulaika. We all know the meanings. What is Ulaika? Those. 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 Where would you point? Rabbi him. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Lord. Very good. 
so rabbihim wa ulaika humul muflihun so alhamdulillah there are lots of things now you know after having done this thing i am sure you all are happy that almost all of it we know there could be probably a couple of words which we need to add to our vocabulary and inshallah will be going fine so let's begin now allazina yu'minuna bil ghaibi wa yuqimuna as-salata wa mimma razaqnahum yunfiqun those who believe in the unseen establish the prayer and out of what we have provided them yunfiqun they spend it so let's now look one by one word by word allazina we all know the meanings those who yu'minuna they believe udare plural third form bil ghaib ghaib bil ghaib b and al ghaib b means in like billahi in the name of allah b al ghaib in the unseen ghaib which we cannot see our eyes cannot see bil ghaib in the unseen and next is yuqimun as salah now how would you remember these words like bil ghaib it is a new one so join the together and read it yu'minun bil ghaib they believe in the unseen it will be rather easier than trying to memorize the meaning of al ghaib to make it a phrase yu'minun bil ghaib make it a phrase wa yuqimun as salah yuqimun as salah and they establish the prayer wa mimma and how would we break it down wa min and ma so wa and min from or whatever ma whatever so and from and out of what razaqna hum we have given to them we have provided to them razaqna hum yunfikun they spend yunfikun they spend by the way uh just a challenge question to all of you razak na hum this is razak na and i just made the mazi forms of it also razaka razaku razak ta razak tu razak tum razak na but if i tell you that this is on the pattern of nasara this is on the pattern of nasara can somebody make the mudare forms of it माशाला ब्रदर सुलेत यस तारजुकू Yeah, that's okay. Here, yeah, Tarzuku, and for Amrwa nahi, like Unsur, it is Urzuk. Urzuk. La Tarzuk. La Tarzuku. Right. So, you see, if you have good practice of the QC one tables and styles, you can do them these very well, and you can yourself find out what these tables are. So, Yunfikun they spend. Now. what do we get from here allah dina yu'minuna bil ghaib we do not know a lot of things our five senses are also limited because we just can see the absolute truths which are seen to us belief in the unseen is the first attribute of the believers believers know that allah is there allah exists and when we say this we just uh, not only say that allah is there we say his angels his books his messengers the hereafter including the paradise and fire hell fire and the beautiful concept of meeting with allah and we also believe in the fate so that's 
all al ghaib second thing is salah so establishing salah or prayer helps in developing taqwa and strengthening the belief in the ghaib or the unseen and it is a very pillar a very important pillar of islam deen wa yaqeenuna salah and sometimes you, we see around uh, our own muslim brethren some leaders some scholars uh, and you know they make very strange interpretations of quran quranic verses why is it this why is it so because they don't pray regularly so they start doing weird interpretations of quranic verses so we see a problem here why because to receive guidance one has to pray yuqimun as salah it is very important and the third thing is yunfikun they give zakah they spend other than zakah as well and sadaqat spend on themselves their parents their children their wives and you see it's so beautiful spending on yourself family and everybody that is also sadaqa allah loves it we if we do it in a reasonable manner and also give charity to the poor and in different islamic causes for islamic for humanitarian causes for people helping people to learn quran and different other ways so path to guidance goes through the pocket you know so we have to spend also in the way of allah they feel that it is all, all allah's gift and therefore they spend so whatever we have got in our life this is a blessing of allah and we should be spending in his way your time please read read the words word by word and then inshallah we move forward wa yuqimuna alright next verse is walladhina yu'minuna bima unzila ilayka wa ma unzila min qablik wa bil akhirati hum yuqinun so walladhina yu'minuna and those who believe in what unzila ilayka sent down to you ilayka wa ma and what unzila min qablik is sent down before you wa bil akhirati and in the hereafter hum yuqinun they firmly believe yuqinun firmly believe Now let's see how these these verses go word by word. Walladina we know, yuminuna we know. Bima is a combined word in what? Unzila sent down. Unzila sent down. Ilaika to you. Vama and what? Whatever in that sense. This is vama, which is uh, uh, you know connecting one. Unzila is sent down. Men kab lika before you kab lika before you before before who by the way the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam yeah so also remember this style of Quran that how and where these pronouns will return to okay and how will they be so uh, will be associated to wabil akhirati and in the hereafter. in the hereafter hum de yuqinun so comes from yaqeen from faith so when we say yuqinun they firmly believe strongly believe so now the first part of it they believe in the quran and sunnah walladhina yuqinuna bima unzila ilayka whatever was sent to the prophet peace be upon him and quran was sent to him wama unzila min qablik very important aya 
you know whatever was sent before you no what is the message here they believe in whatever is sent to the prophet yes, and okay. whatever was sent before him before. it is not written whatever was will be sent after you it means yes. our dear prophet muhammad peace be upon him is the Sorry. seed of the prophethood is the yes. last prophet prophets so, you see this verse is a testament it is it is uh, you know, an authority that the all others who claim to be prophets after muhammad peace be upon him they are liars and they have this you know false um, understanding that the prophet who still continues so all those who follow them like such as qadianis ahmadis they they are not following quran truly because allah did not say what is revealed after what is what what is revealed after you o muhammad peace be upon him but allah is saying before you and towards you okay wabil akhirati hum yuqinun so strong faith in akhira is a must to establish salah to spend in the path of Allah. Alhamdulillah. Your time now. Look at this ayah and then we will do the last one. So this last, uh, actually, the verse, it is part of the next page. But uh, since it is connected to this subject, we are bringing it here. We all know the meanings of ulaika, and this is the plural of zalika. Zalika, ulaika. Those are upon guidance from their Lord. And it is those who are the successful one. <clears throat> now, word by word, ulaika, those. Allah, on or upon, hudan hidaya min rabbihim. From their Lord. From their Lord, min rabbihim. So, with the help of their Lord. Wa ulaika, and it is those only, humul muflihun. Again, this is for stress. They are the successful ones. Al-Muflihun. So, <clears throat> so, especially here, from their Rabb means guidance is the most important gift of Allah. And it is always from Allah. Min Rabbihim. We should be thankful to Him for putting us on the path of guidance. Alhamdulillah, you know, even being here, in Quran, it is only by the direction and the selection of Allah. Allah has chosen you to be here to learn about Quran because of course Allah loves us. He has put us on this path. Therefore, we always need to beg for it. Ihdina surat al-mustaqeem. And they will be successful in this world and the hereafter. So the more one is stronger in the five attributes, the more guidance he or she will get and the higher he will reach in terms of success. What are the five things? Everyone, we have just completed them. So please help me count. First one. Salah. Belief in no, first one. First one. Belief in. Belief in the unseen. Salah. Salah. Standing in the way of Allah. Whatever is being sent to the prophet. Oh, because and, sent to him. 
spending in the way of Allah. Live in the best day. Okay, these are the attributes of Muttaqeen. Okay, your time to revise the ayah. I think it's very easy. Alhamdulillah, almost all of it is already done. Al-Muflihun is a new word. Successful. Okay. So <clears throat> from these ayahs, there are lots of messages and asbaat we get. So let's pray to Allah. Help us <clears throat> develop the required habits. We pray to Allah. Rabbi ja'alni muqimus salati wa min zurriyati. Rabbana wa taqabbal dua. And when we are doing this, we should also evaluate, do I have a good belief in the Bil Ghaib? Do I stand in the way of Allah? How do I take care of prayers? Uh, how much I am associated to the book, whatever was revealed to the Prophet of Allah, and my faith in the hereafter. Okay? Spending in the way of Allah as well, of course. So make a habit. Uh, to you know, to spend regularly, baby. No, whatever small amount it is, you know, whatever amount it is, even a single penny. Uh, but spending in the way of Allah will, inshallah, reward you and will put you in the list of muttaqeen. So let's now do asma wa afal, which have appeared in these ayahs. So first coming to Asma, what is the plural of Salawat? Uh, Salah? Salawat. <laughs> Salawat. Very good. Salawat. Salawat. And Muflihun has come from? So Mufli, Muflihun, Muflihin. Please repeat everyone after me. Muflih, Muflihun, Muflihin. Now, looking at the three letter sound verbs from these ayahs. So, Rajaka, Alhamdulillah, we have already done it. Who would like to practice this once again? It is on the pattern of <coughs> just a short table. Rajaka, Okay, brothers and sisters, I am going to do the actions and you will call out loud this table, Razaka. Razaka. Okay, can you tell me who is Marzuk? Allah, Allah, or we? Allah, Allah, Allah. We are Marzuk. Allah is Razik. Give risk. We are Marzuk. We receive it. Okay. Okay. So our Quran part is done. Any questions here before we begin the grammar part? We'll take a short 30 seconds break or a minute's break. And inshallah, then we'll start the grammar part. And you know, today in the grammar part, we are going to learn a fail which appears in Quran the most times. Okay, almost 1700 times. Yes, sister, please go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I noticed um, the translation for uh, Yu'minuna and Yu'kinuna is very similar. Are these like the same word? What's the difference between these words? 
<clears throat> a good question, sister. Uh, actually, there is a thin line. There is a difference between the two words. So, uh, you know, yuminuna is more about your faith, your akida, and yukimuna is more about, you know, it could be even the um, something which is uh, uh, which you believe. In fact, that could also be used for both. Uh, but Iman is almost in totality of something. So I think that could be a little differentiation. However, they are almost same, appears to be same here. I'll try to find out the difference in more detail and we could discuss in maybe some other future class. A very good question, by the way. Thank you. All right, so uh, let's begin with the, our grammar session now. A'uz billahi min shaitan rajeem. In grammar today, we are going to learn about qala. And let's begin with the weak letters. So we all know the weak letters are waw, kya, and alif. And they make, if they come in any verb, they make the entire verb a weak verb. Okay. And there are two things about them. Number one, what is the first thing? They make the word they appear weak. They, the first thing is they come on the pattern of the sound verbs. Okay, so <clears throat> they will. They also follow the styles of the sound verbs. So it makes it easy for us because we have learned these styles already. The four styles. Fataha, Yaftahu, Nasara, Yansuru, Daraba, Yadribu, Samia, Yasmau. And we know the difference between them. And we know how they, their uh, complete afal and then Amrava Nahi are also little different. This is the first thing. Secondly, they, the weak words, verbs can get tired and these words disappear or exchange with one another, help each other. So their exchange with each other makes it easy for us to pronounce or actually for the Arabs to pronounce these words easily. Okay. Now, we have Alhamdulillah already covered Wahaba and wa'ada. What does wahaba mean? He gave. He gave. He, gave. he awards. He gave. He bestows. In this sense. So can somebody do quickly the short table of wahaba? Wahaba. Yahabu. Ahab. Yahabu. Excellent. Very good, brother. So, we also learned on the pattern of Wahaba, there is another word, Wada'a. What does it mean? Wada'a? Promise. No, no. This is Wa'ada. I'm talking about Wada'a. Because put. of the pattern of Wahaba. He put. He put. He put. Very good. So, wada'a, yada'u, what will be here? Da. Da. Wada'un, maudu'un, 
So, brothers and sisters, please keep on revising them for your better memory and keeping it in mind. So, you know, one day I was coming with my son in the car and he said, I pronounced something and he said, no, Baba, this, this is Wabada'a Lil Anam. So, this was the word Wada'a. And next is, <clears throat> next we also learned Wa'ada. Wa'ada. What does it mean? He promised. He promised. Please do the short table of it. Wa'ada. Ya'idu. Wa'id. Wa'id. Ma'ud. Ma'ud. Wa'ad. Wa'ad. Excellent. And uh, and we also learned an additional verb like wa'ada is also wajada. 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 What does it mean, wajada? He met. He found. He found. He found wajada. So let's do the short table. Wajada. Yajidu. Yajidu. Jit. Jit. Wajid. Wajid. So, brothers and sisters, you need to pay some attention to these verbs. Uh, you know, as we move forward, since we'll be adding more verbs, so more practice will give you a good command over the meanings of these words at their right pattern. Because we will, inshallah, be adding more in the coming days. Like today, inshallah, we are going to add kala yakulu. And on the pattern of kala, there is another verb, taba. So see, it is such a smart way, an easy approach. We do one verb and we learn another additional verb with the help of the same pattern. So you just need to pay a little attention. And after each class, make it a habit that with every prayer, you at least once have to do this table. And remember, remind yourself, every word which you are learning and practicing, you are coming closer to the book of Allah. This should give you the motivation. You know, whenever you are free, wherever you are, just practice these tables. So many times in life, in our during the day, we are doing nothing. So why not to keep learning Quran? Okay? So let's move now. Kala comes in Quran. As I said... This is the verb which comes most times in the Quran. So, the more better practice will have, the better understanding will have this uh, verb appearing in Quran. So, uh, ahad. You have already done it in QC1. Now, by the way, by the way, from your understanding of the Quran, please, can you please mute your mic? And you can raise hand to answer my question. From your understanding of afal, what do you think? What is kul? Which which which? Uh, very good. This is fele amr kul 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 say. As kala is he said. You remember we learned the meaning of kul in QC one. We also learned about kala. He said. And what is the plural of kala? Alu. 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 They said. Alu. They said. So it is easy now to do the table of Kala. We already have familiarity with it. So let's do the Mazi forms first. Kala. He said. Kalu. They said. Kulta. You said. Kultu. I said. Kultum. You all said. Kulna. We said. And we can also make from for the feminine. Kalat, kalat, she said. Okay. Your turn now. Yes, Sister Fatima. Uh, please raise hand those who would like to do the practice session. Okay, Sister Hadiza. Uh, 
Sister Hadiza Musa, you can start with the. I think she has some internet connectivity issue. Let's take brother. Uh, uh, this is Omo Meta Sambu. Yes, brother. It says, Kolu, this said, Kulta, you said, Kultu, I said, Kultum, you all said, Kulna, we said, Kolat, she said. Excellent, brother. This next is Kakusu Nasser. Kola, he said. Kalu, they said. Ulta, you said. Ultu, I said. Ultum, you all said. Ulna, we said. Kualat, she said. Very good. Sister Safia Salavu Ibrahim. Kola. He said, Kalu, they said, Kulta, you said, Kultu, I said, Kultu, you all said, Kulna, we said, Kalat, she said. Excellent, mashallah. So you see, now you should do enough practice that we all should be able to do it uh, in a smooth manner kala he said kalu they said kulta you said kultu i said kultum you all said kulna we said kalat she said she said so especially remember this kulta kultu kulta kultu kulta you said kultu i said kultum you all said kulna we said we said right? mm -hmm. so now let's do its arabic uh, conversation so who is going to do this conversation? Brother Hakim and Brother Suleyr. Halqala? Nam Qala. Halqalu? Nam Qala. Halqulta? Nam Qultu. Halqultu? Nam Kulna. Mashallah. Nam Kulna. Very good. So now I am going to ask all of you, and I would like to listen to response from everybody. Halkala Khairan. Nam Halkalu Khairan. Halkalu Khairan. Now, listen to my question. Hal Kulta Okay. Did you notice I said Hal Kulta Sharan? Okay. <laughs> 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 Please notice Ma Kultu And if I say Hal Khairan, then yes, Naam Kultu Khairan. Okay. Okay. Hal Kultum Khairan. This is for all of you. Khairan. Excellent. Alhamdulillah, we are gradually learning. So let's move forward. <laughs> now when we had to make a mudare form of it, so, so the all, it was tried on all the times of Fatiha, and then when it was tried on the pattern of Fatiha, it was Kala Yakalu. On the pattern of Nasara, Kala Yakulu. It actually had to be Yakualu, you know. But what happened? The 
it was becoming difficult. So Alif was changed. Alif got tired and Wow came to help him. So Alif was changed with Wow to make it easy to pronounce. Kala Yakulu. It would have been very difficult to say Yakualu on the same pattern. So the right pattern was Kala Yakulu. Kala Yakulu. This was the pattern which was, which was chosen by the Arabs. So we also choose the same and practice on it. Yakulu, he says, Yakuluna, they say. Takulu, you say. Akulu, I say. Takuluna, you all say. Nakulu, we say. Hiya takulu, she says. Or she will say. Both meanings are here. Okay, raise hand for practice. Brothers and sisters, we are a group of 44 people. Why would always a few of you come forward? MashaAllah. Sister Dunya has come forward and after her, Sister Shakira and Sister Aisha. So happy to see new names. Yes, Sister Dunya. Yakulu, he say. Yakuluna, they say. Yakulu, you say. Akulu, I say. Takuluna, you all say. Nakulu, we say. Takulu. Here, Takulu. She says. Takulu, she says. Right, sister. Sister Shakira. Yakulu, he says. Yakuluna, they say. Yakulu, you say. Akulu, I say. Yakuluna, you all say. Nakulu, we stay. Nakulu, she says. Excellent. She Sister say? Aisha Kulia. Yakulu, he said. Nakuluna, they said. Nakulu, you said. Nakulu, I say. Nakuluna, you all said. Nakulu, Nakulu. Nakulu, sister. Nakulu. Nakulu, we say. Takulu, she says. Yeah. Yakulu, he says or he will say. He so Yakuluna, they say or they will say. Takulu, you will say or you say. Akulu, I say or I will say. Takuluna, you all say or you all will say. Nakulu, we say, we will say. Mashallah. And here Takulu, she says or she will say. Very well done. So now, Notice here, Alif has been changed with Wow. So keep this change in mind. Alif was changed with Wow. And we know weak letters get tired and they exchange places with each other. Sometimes they just go away and sometimes they exchange their places and help each other. So here, Wow came for the rescue of Alif and it became Yakulu, Yakuluna, Takulu, Akulu, Takuluna, Nakulu, here, Takulu. Now for the Arabic, Spoken Arabic. Please come forward. You can come forward in pairs and can do the Arabic spoken. So, okay, brother Omometo and brother, uh, this is, next is, brother Shahid from Turkey. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Hal Yakulu. Brother Omometo is dropped, I think, because of his internet connection. I'll respond now. Nah, Yakulu. Nah, nah, Yakulu. Is there? Okay. Hal Yakuluna. Nam Yakuluna. Hal Takulu. Nam Akulu. Hal Takuluna. Nam Takulu. Nam Nakulu, brother. Nam Nakulu. Nam Nakulu. Okay. Like Nabudu, like Nastain, like Nakulu, like. So this is in plural form. Now, to make the, uh, you know, Fele Amr, what we did, we took the Yakulu and removed the first Ya. Okay. You know why we removed it? Because in Amr, it has to be somebody right in front of us. 
So rather than taking talking about somebody, um, because we had to give an order or make a request, so it is always made to somebody who is present with us, right? So we removed the ya. And when we removed the ya, the last word was also made silent. Wow was a weak letter. It just went away. It was so weak. It could not afford to have the order. So kul, kul, the way we say kul hu Allahu ahad, kul a'uz bi rabbil falak, wa kur rabbi zidni ilma. So kul, say, kul, say. This became the amr of the kala. So kul, say, kulu, say you all. La takul, don't say. La takulu, don't say you all. Okay? Yeah. So, would like to have some new names coming forward for practice. Mashallah. Mawanga Rashid. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu brother. Cool. Say. Kulu. Ataku. Don't say. La takulu. Don't say you all. Excellent, brother. Jazakallah. Ismail Dambi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikum Kul. Say. Kulu. Say you all. La takul. Do not say. La takulu. And brothers and sisters, remember to do the actions. Miss, Miss, uh, Mick, Migisa. Migisa, please. Kulu, uh, say you all. La takul. Don't say, la takulu, don't say you all. Jazakallah, sister. Sister Fatima Abbas. Sister Fatima Abbas, you have raised your hand for the practice. Would you like to do it? Okay. So let's do the... <clears throat> practice of the Ar spoken Arabic. So, uh, Sister Migisa and Sister Shakira. Yeah. Cool. Okay, Akulu. Kulu. Nakulu. So, so what should be what should we say? Kul khaira. How would you respond, everyone? Kul khaira. And if I say kulu khaira. Na kulu khaira. Na kulu khaira. Mashallah. So if I say la takul. La akul. La akulu. Remember this. La and akulu. This expression is separated. While la takul is a combined expression. La takul, don't say. It is um, It is fail nahi. <clears throat> While la akulu has two parts. La is for negating. Akulu is mudare. Okay? If I say la takulu. La nakul. La nakul. Very good. La 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 uh, you know, we could also say la takul sharra, la takulu sharran, uh, etc. Now, coming to its ism file, kail, the one who says, speaker, makul, that which is being said, and call, you know, the saying, call, saying. <clears throat> so, uh, Okay, please new names come forward for revising it for practice. All right. Yes, sister.
ब्रदर मोहम्मद सर की काइल one who says yeah maqul da which is said and qaul the saying mashallah jazakallah sister brother muwanga rashid kail one who says ma <coughs> that which is said ka say all is saying so so brothers and sisters uh, sister mik sister migisa hal anta kail how would you respond hal anta kail naam ana kail excellent naam ana kail yes i am the one who is saying so if i ask all of you hal antum kailun कॉल So any time when you are free, free, it takes hardly thirty seconds to revise the entire table. Okay, and inshallah, once you would have revised it, you would learn sixteen hundred thirty-six, almost seventeen hundred, according to some counts, are the words on the pattern of Allah in Quran. So this is the short table of it. Allah. yakulu kul kail makul call and inshallah you will keep repeating it let's have some qu quick questions on the pattern of kala there is a verb tab taba taba means the one who returns or repents okay so taba he taba he repented okay i'm just saying because i'm introducing this word to you taba he repented so the right is a Now, the rest of the questions you will answer yourself <clears throat> the three verb keys of taba on the pattern of kala a b c d which one is right d please write in the chat box brother and sisters so that we can see everybody is able to kya par hai wo chup Uh, remember i asked you for the verb keys of taba some of you are still verb keys yes very right the way we learned kala yakulu kul so taba yatubu tub see it is so is on the pattern of kala you are learning another phrase without any effort so let's see how do you respond to it hal tub tum ila allah i'm asking you all hal tub tum ila allah what would you say na 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 hal tub na chat box please write in chat box na na tub na ila allah some someone wrote e please remember because it is mazi form so we have to answer in the mazi form hal tum tum ila allah will say naam tum na ila allah okay okay now you will translate into arabic you all will repent a b c d which one is right you all will repent 
So think carefully and then answer. And turn to Allah and repent us. Wa, tubu, tubu will be like tub, tubu. It's A. A. Yeah. Okay. And turn to Allah and repent. Very right. Okay. Now with this, we come to the end of the class. Uh, if somebody would like to practice the translate into Arabic, you all say to people good words. Raise hand and then you can practice for all. You all say to people good words. Ji. Who would like to practice it? Sister Migisa, would you like to do it? In Arabic? <laughs> Yes, brother Sulay. Sister, remember it is you all say. You all say. So, brother Sulay. Mashallah. Takuluna len nasi khaira. Good words. So, you all say. If it is now, uh, you know, if it is just a minute, wait a minute. If it is you all saying that it is takuluna len nasi khaira, but if it is the amr, you all say, you know, cool. say, say you all good words to people, then how would it be? Excellent, excellent, excellent. You mm -hmm. all are, alhamdulillah, very intelligent people. Kulu lennasi khaira. Kulu lennasi khaira. Who will translate? Inna ladina kalu rabbun Allah. Who would like to translate it? Lord is Allah. Indeed, those who say... Allah is our Lord. MashaAllah. Excellent, brother. Inna ladina kalu rabbun Allah. Indeed, those who say Rabbun Allah is our Lord. Allah is our Lord. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Excellent. Hal kultum khaira? How would you respond? Nah. 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 So, on the same pattern is Taba. You can complete the table. We pray to Allah. To help us recite uh, and understand, ponder, implement, propagate, memorize the Quran. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Jazakallah <laughs> hayr.